Hello and welcome back to Total Warhammer 3. Getting close to short victory here on our Tyrion campaign. Unrelated though, we're currently in a siege against Bellacor. Wiping out Slaanesh, the way we played High Elves had a lot of problems, and one of them is that because we needlessly went to war with Slaanesh instead of going west, we pissed off Bellacor, and now the Circle of Vengeance has taken us to his homeland. I thought this would be an auto resolve, that my two armies here would just be good enough, but it turns out that the garrison here is like 15 units, including multiple units of Chaos Trolls, Chaos Warriors, a Hero of Chaos, and the army here has hired three separate units of Renown, so there's just a lot. Now, all that being said, I think we can easily win this. We just take control large army, we do not take AI control, and we'll just be able to pump all of our arrows over the walls into them and then break the siege and leave and come back next turn and do it again. Like, the plan is very much just guerrilla warfare. I don't need to beat them in one fight. If I can, that's awesome. But I think we're just going to chip them down turn after turn until this is winnable. Bellacor's army has literally no one that does magic. I've just realized that's what it means when they don't have the magic bar show up at all. Apparently enemy reinforcements are coming in over here. So let's have them not, I guess. And in terms of attacking the city, there's just like no towers over here. There's just like a huge blind spot right there. So that seems fine to me. That seems very abusable. And using this as a guide, we can see that we're safe. We're going to be out of range of these towers. And we'll put the white line of trace right here. When did they get here? In one minute. Meanwhile, my reinforcements over here get here in a minute and 43. Can I just pull this around? I can. Although it doesn't seem to like being pulled around. Why is it going back? What's it want from me? It's telling me that only Vanguard units can deploy outside of my area when I hover my mouse here. Maybe it'll work once I click Start Deployment. Maybe that's it. No, maybe it'll work once I click Start Battle. They're showing up over there. I would love to know how to do this because the game doesn't like it when I do it, apparently. Oh, you know what it is? Maybe this is Introversible. Maybe that's what it is. So if I move it just like over here where it still looks pretty solid. No. Um. Okay, so a lot of the map edge just doesn't work is what I'm getting. So it feels like this is just a free kill on their reinforcements in about 40 seconds, right? I don't know how reinforcements work in this game, but I have to imagine. Son of like, we just take all these guys, walk back slightly as they run in. Together. Quickly now. And honestly, Alistair doesn't even need to fight this. I only had him here in case, like, dogs ran in, but it's looking like there are none. That's the sort of thing I could easily object before the fight, but I'm bad at the game, so what do you want? So we're gonna start curving this way so that we won't just run into range of the towers because we are pretty far forward right now. I think we could be getting shot on the side. But yeah, it turns out move and shoot is a very strong combination of abilities. I'm gonna send you forward because my guys are getting pretty distracted here. Come on, back off, boys. What's happening here? Why are any of you over there? Man, these icons got real tiny real fast. Tyrion, please get down here and help. Also, all of you shoot him. Are these demon so match? What am I looking at? Marauders. Just very purple marauders. Kill them. This feels like it was handled a little bit messily, but it's probably worth it in the end. Except for the part where the towers are shooting me. Continue backing up here and really just backing up on fucking everything. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to get to us without just dying, I would think. Continue running that down and continue with all of this nonsense. I know the other armies arrived, this doesn't really seem to matter. Unless they're being shot. They might be getting shot. One second. No, there's no towers over here. They should be fine. Just drag all of this over so that we'll have this done sooner rather than later. We're going to make this control group one because I'm getting tired of having to find them. Since the bars have gotten so small. We advance. I want all of them shooting this chaos wizard. 
I'm not quite sure why we're taking so much fire. Where are these things relative to the rest of this? Well, we're a little bit forward, but it doesn't feel like we should be taking this fire. I don't know why we are. I really don't know why we are, actually. One second. Next on this fire, I want to see where it's coming from. Uh, hey, guys, what are you shooting presently? Because I specifically told you to kill the Chaos Lord, and I don't really see any arrows going that way. Are you afraid of hitting him? Is that what's happening? Oh, we're in the trees. That might be fucking us up. Anyway, I'm putting on triple speed because I'm pretty sure he's just dead next time we fire a volley. I'm pull all of this back. Have Alistair in the white line just run him down. Seriously, what's shooting? Because we shouldn't be in range of this. Alright, we finally got the Chaos Wizard. Apparently this guy still exists. Not sure why you're there, but okay. I'm just curious if this is going to do anything when I fire catapults through trees at these guys. Right now, it's just repositioning for a very long time. It seems like it was pretty shit, to be honest. You want to stop that. And as you can see, all of our armies gathered up over here. We have an absolutely unreasonable amount of archers. I think this one tower here is the only one that's a problem for us, and we need to take that out as we move up over here. So we lost about 150 men, but we also killed about 400 of theirs. Not really the best rate, but it is good enough that if we kept that up, we would eventually win the fight. So I think my bolt throwers are missing a ton of their shots because they're in the woods. I'm not quite sure what's happening here. I'm moving Alistair around a little bit over here to see if he gets any fire thrown at him. It looks like someone at least is shooting arrows. It might be this tower. I don't think it's actually the units behind it. Units on the wall up here are melee infantry, halberd infantry, axe infantry. Yeah, it's the tower itself that's doing the shooting. And as we get forward to about here, the tower is no longer able to take the shot, apparently. Let's figure out how to maneuver these eagle claws into position. All right, let's see if we can actually hit the tower now, as opposed to the bullshit we were dealing with earlier. It hasn't been firing for a while. I'm not really sure why, which makes me wonder if I don't know how towers work. Yeah, it's definitely going down a ton faster. The trees were 100% in the way and making it harder to hit. Anyway, I'll be back with you shortly once we're doing the whole arrows into the town thing. We do need to make sure that we're actually safe, though. Bellacor can just fly in and jump them, so that would be suboptimal to be sure. All right, the tower is down. Hopefully we won't be taking a ton more random wounds after this. So question, if I just shoot over into the town, how's that going to go? It looks like it didn't really. They just gave up and I still have a target gun. Cool. Um, not really sure what's happening there. No, 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 no. Stop this. Why is it not drawing out right now? I'm going to set these guys on fire at will with their remaining ammunition and then just remove them from the battle, I think. Just because they're sort of in the way. Speaking of, I'm going to turn all fire at will on everyone else. I'm going to be honest, these bolt throwers seem like they're doing absolutely nothing over the city walls, which is about what I was expecting, but still. And we can just bust down the gate with uh, our Lion of Trace, I think, but we'll throw the rest of these into the wall just to get an opening in case we need it. I don't imagine we're going in, but it's not like this is doing anything else. Yeah, they were just able to put a hole in the wall. That's nice. Anyway, you may now leave the battlefield. We no longer want you. So I'm going to move up all of my units that are actually melee units in case Bellacor comes. I'm expecting him to at some point. You know, for an enemy army that's not supposed to have uh, spells, they sure do be casting spells on me. I guess it's all just abilities rather than spells. We're going to start removing up all the archers that are just normal, good old-fashioned archers. Putting them on fire at will. And right now, all of my Shadow Warriors are out of range to actually engage in the town, I think. So if I put them on fire at will, a couple are still in range. I'm going to back them up just a little bit. I want them to only shoot if Bellacor comes forward, basically. And they're being really finicky about how they want to move in this forest. I'm just going to turn off fire at will. That seems like the faster solution. Yeah, this guy's just getting mangled. We're going to back them off. I wish I knew what was casting the spells that are totally not spells, by the way. There's not really any telegraph for me as to who's doing this. It's got to be Bellacor, right? But he's so far away. He does have the abilities. 
Enemy magic, huh? It'd be nice if I could see, like, where the enemy magic was coming from if it wasn't just, like, happening to me. If I knew whose fault this was. Alright, this army, this unit's also just fucking dead. So I'm gonna just have both of these withdraw from the battlefield because they're just dead. So there's a mechanic with Zinch units called Barrier, which is what's happening here, I think. But for now, I think I'm just content to do this at triple speed for a very long time. I'm assuming that since their spells just don't actually have any mana cost, they must be limited in charges and they're out of them now. Because it'd be kind of bullshit if they're just able to cast spells literally forever. Like, as a player, I can't imagine losing a siege if that's how Bellacore works. So I'm assuming that something on their side, probably Bellacore, had a couple free uses of spells that they've been using on that. That were insanely effective, because they like squad wipe renowned units. That was way better than I had any right to be. I think this would be better if I were focus firing. You have a Chaos Sorcerer. Why did it pretend that you didn't have Winds of Magic then? You have somebody who specializes in the Winds of... I found the problem. I sort of figured the Chaos Sorcerer would have like the hero icon like Bellacor and other heroes do. Maybe only Lords do and I'm mistaken. I thought heroes had icons like this as well. Do mine? I don't have any heroes in this army, so it's hard to say. Come on, bring him down. Don't let him walk away. Really, guys? There we go. Then we'll take out more stuff on the walls. The Chaos Sorcerer definitely needed to die earlier. I just wasn't aware he existed because I didn't read the battle closely enough. Now that they're behind the walls, just start doing something else. So we're going to keep rotating through them. And we're just going to empty every arrow we have into them and then probably lose the battle because we'll have so much power loss in that. But it'll be worth it, I believe. Because we get our arrows back the moment the next fight starts. They do not get their units back nearly so fast. Especially their heroes. Like, killing this melee specialist means that it's just not there anymore in the next fight. It's a tremendous amount of balance of power. Also, we're still killing the other one just by accident. Oh, is there another one right next to him? Yeah, we'll just shoot all of them. It's fine. This one might survive just because as it gets weak, we're going to run out of arrows. Right, everyone in this control group has just run out of arrows. So all of you... I'm not going to remove you from the battlefield completely because that would result in losing more balance of power. But I will completely pull them out of the fight for all intents and purposes. I'm going to move up this guy. Actually, he's already in range. Let's let him start shooting at fire at will because he wasn't before. I'm going to grab about, I guess, half of these. The ones with less ammo. Oh, yeah. And I do have a wizard with spells. I should probably use that. I've got Thunderbolt and Windblast. I'm pretty sure they will dodge. But I don't know how well you can dodge on a wall. Like, what do they do when I do this? Yeah, they get out of the way in time. Maybe? Yeah. So they need to be engaged in something for the spells to hit. And they don't use ranged attacks. I would have to go in to distract them. I mean, I'm down to do that a little bit. I remember when I told half of you to run forward and then no one did. What is up with this battle being so jank? They just aren't moving at all when I drag them. I don't know what's going on with that. There we go. Looking at balance of power, we are still losing, but they've lost 600 men now, including multiple heroes, which is probably the more important part. Put all this on fire at will, and we're just going to empty our amazation. I, I don't think I'm trying to win this fight. I have nothing to push inside the city with, like I might have been able to before. The Chaos Sorcerer that I didn't know was there killed multiple units of renowned infantry, but with those gone, probably not. Anyway, we're going to focus on the melee specialist like we've been doing. I want all these heroes dead for next time. And they seem more than contented to stand on the wall while I shoot them. In fact, they brought another one to get shot with them. I guess they were going down. It looks so weird. Also, my game's looking hella blurry. Something's definitely wrong graphically. We'll figure that out in the future, I guess. I don't know why they keep putting their exalted heroes on the tower and then bringing them down over and over again. But I'll just go ahead and kill all of your exalted heroes this fight. It's fine. I will say, their armor seems disgustingly effective against this. So, like, my control groups are broken really hard. I did control two when they went through six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've now grouped them, and that's better. I don't want these two, though. Sure, you can be four now, if that's what you want. And now we're going to bring in the last groups of archers. And we're going to see if we can't get anything to happen with magic over here. Because surely if I run inside the city, someone gives a shit, right? And I trust this guy to be moderately durable. Forward. Quick time. Obeying orders. 
Honestly, no one seems to give a shit. Except for the towers. I'm gonna attack these chaos warriors and then drop a spell on them. As soon as they actually get connected with. And then we drag you back out immediately. Was that remotely worth it? How much damage did you actually deal? 267. Wonderful. Ah, oh, it's my favorite thing. Controls not going through at all again. I don't understand, game. What's happening today? Why is this the formation you think you should be in? Because they're locked. I don't know when they got locked. They shouldn't be. Apparently, Alistair's gotten 26 kills already, which feels surprising to me. I'm going to charge into these, and as it connects, drop this along them. Because now that they're in a fight, they shouldn't be able to dodge, really. Although, unfortunately, we're not in range to do it yet. Now we are. Drop that there, see if it's enough. Oh, are you not in range with that either? There we go. So, what did you get this time for damage? 3,600. Yeah, that was more what I was expecting the first time we did stuff. Alright, let's see if Bellacor wants to come outside the city and fight me. Because if he does, killing Bellacor seems like a huge fucking deal. Yeah, Bellacor wants to come fight. Guys, get him. Uh, Alistair, I need you to hold still for a second. All right, maybe Alistair will just die if I stay against this. But we can still tie him like near the arrows. Yeah, the barrier's a bitch, and I think Bellacor might be better in melee combat. That's still hitting him a little bit. Oh, so Bellacor's massive. Like he's notably bigger than the Chariot. Also, guys, this this is a waste of ammo. I'm sorry for telling you this. I can't find the halt button, but I know it's H. I, I thought it was H. It certainly doesn't look like it was H. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bait that out again and then have all of my melee infantry dogpile them. And I don't actually think that's going to go very well. Alistair, you're going to have to keep taking risk over here so that we can get back out of the magic, by the way. Charge there. Start walking over here. I'm going to wait for the charge to connect a little bit more. And Alistair's going to just run all the way through this. That was the plan. It's largely worked. Bellacor is not as interested this time. Cooldown's back, so take the charge as soon as it connects, and they're moderately busy. Yeah, they're a little bit more confused about what dodging means this time. And Bellacor is less interested. I feel like I had a chance to kill Bellacor and just like thought the arrows would be more effective than they were. Over here, we have this again. I feel like that'll just hit them, like they don't have time to dodge. Yeah, that did a lot. That was good. Like, if we're here just to use all of our magic and cheese, then let's actually use all of our magic, right? I'm surprised that's hitting any of them. It feels weird to me that we've only killed 500 of them, but I guess I've been focusing on killing their heroes, so that makes a little bit of sense. Right, we're going to continue on with the strategy of just using spells to get value here. They can't really back away from this in time. And we're going to pull straight through on Alistair and then just leave again. It seems very effective. I'll be back with you once we're done with this. Oh, hey, Bellacor's coming. That's actually perfect. Right, we're going to try the dogpile with anti-large strategy again. No, he doesn't like that shit. All right, we're definitely getting a lot more bogged down this time. Uh, he might just be dead. Chariots aren't great at moving, it appears. Going to need that to get him out. All right, we nearly lost him doing that. We might not be able to safely use any more magic. How 
much health do we have? We have 1,800. I'm being a coward. Yeah, as long as we can get Bellacore to dive down out here, we have at least a tiny chance. I God damn it, he's turning again. He might be going for the mage, though. Yes. All of you, go for... It's so frustrating. All right, I'm sorry you had to take that, Alistair, but it's fine. I promise, you're not going to die immediately. Cool, now that he's down and fighting, all of you shoot him. Alistair lost 800 health in the blink of an eye. Uh, we have Harmonic Convergence, which I think is a... Oh, it's a buff, not a debuff. All right, we're going to give it to our guys then. All right, Bellacore, how's this go when you're just standing there and tanking it all? And fighting anti-large spearmen. Like, honestly, surprisingly good. All right, at least the arrows are doing something to him. I think I just put this on triple speed. There's, like, not a lot of micro happening here. I guess I can try to, like, surround him a little bit. He does sort of push straight through us like a fucking cheese grater. It's kind of awful to watch. Come on, don't retreat. Just stay there and fight. I'm sure you've got this, Bellacore. Why would you run? Come on. I'm going to lose a lot to kill all their heroes this time. All right, Bellacore's down. Pull back here. All right, uh, we've lost a ton, but in terms of balance of power, like the number of units we killed does not represent just how much strength we removed from this army properly. I think I'm going to just put this on rapid fire or fire at will rather, and then retreat once we're out of ammunition. If we could kill the chaos trolls, that'd be pretty dope. But considering they have 110 armor, I just want to like see what this volley does. Actually, quite a fucking lot. Holy shit! I was expecting way less than that. But surely, like the same volley against Great Axe Infantry just nearly kills them, doesn't it? They're at 3,000. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's it's notably more effective against other units. All right, that is every arrow we have fired, unfortunately. And like, we did a lot of damage to them. We killed all of their heroes, as well as 700 men, and we did it for the cost of 700 of our own. Admittedly, Alistair's not looking great, so we might not be doing great on the hero front either, but still. So the only question is, can I get value out of my remaining 29 points of magic? And like, surely the answer has to be yes, somehow, right? I might be willing to sacrifice a melee unit to get it done. Like, this is just a base experiment, 77 of them. So I can send them in instead of Alistair just to pin the enemies for magic, right? Also, it occurs to me that I don't think I equipped Alistair with like the best gear I could have before this fight. I think for a while I've been thinking, I don't feel like equipping my lords with stuff. It's fine. And Alistair definitely could have had better gear going into this. I'm not convinced the chariot's remotely good. The chariot seems kind of weird and bad. I, it just, something about the way it moves, I don't like it. I don't quite know what it is. If you guys can just like get forward and piss them off so that they run at you, I'd really appreciate that. Just like run inside and stand there. Just do uh, the bare minimum to get their attention, please. Actually, I think you can just beat the dogs. I don't think we need to use magic yet. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But the point is that I wanted to get more value out of the magic I am using before we leave. And this still isn't particularly efficient magic. That is 100% not an animation of the thing I selected. All right, since they're all routing, I can run this guy out now and avoid having him collapse. Oh, they're not actually all routing, though. Yeah, so he's going to have to stay there and take more hits. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's fine. Back off here. Bring someone else in. All right, the Chaos Trolls are coming forward. I imagine this is going to suck for us. I mean, these guys are anti-large, right? It's just a matter of, like, unit tier, I think, is the, the problem. I don't see it going well. We can get, like, decently good spells to hit these guys. But at the same time, it's just... They're named Chaos Rolls, and this is named Spearman. And I don't feel good about those naming alignments. Uh, we can't buff our guys, though. Although the buff has got to be a waste of wins of magic. That was... Yeah, I now understand that I just shouldn't be using this spell at all. Yeah, they're not all dying immediately. Drop this here. 
Chaos Trolls are fine, I think. And they're unbreakable, so they're never running. Yeah, that's fine. We're good. We can leave. Trust me, you're just going to die in there. There's no point staying. They were out of magic. And that's going to be the control A withdrawal. We have used every expendable resource we have and some human lives along the way, or I guess elven lives. But we killed all of their heroes. We killed their lord. We did a good chunk of army damage on top of that. I'm happy with this as step one of a two-part siege. Reinforcements wiped out. Small casualties here, but losing all of their lords is pretty important. Apparently they have a Chaos Sorcerer of the Shadows that I just never saw? Huh. Must have hung out pretty far in the back, I guess. And Bellacor's not showing it's dead here, but I feel like he's definitely dead. Technically a draw. Pretty funny. Yes. I'm not allowed to go again immediately, am I? Because that would just be fucking bullshit. Uh, so I am not allowed to actually fight this again in the same turn by the look of it. So we'll continue Siege. But the auto resolve is actually in our favor now. And they can't recruit, Master I imagine. Of high magic. I'm going to give it a quick save here, real quick. I don't know specifically how something here works. If I break the siege, how can, I, can I just attack the guy next to the settlement to draw them out? Live to war. Um, Like, you would think, but no. Can I restart the siege? No. That's what I was afraid of. That's why I wanted to save it before I tried it, because I figured there was a very good chance I was just unable to move at all if I did this. So I'm going to go ahead and load that quick save. But I did need to know for sure, for future reference, can I attack the guy next to the settlement? Is that an option? The answer is no. So that'll be the last thing we need to do in the turn. We're ending immediately, and we'll see how this goes next turn. You know, the Belcor's Vassal was actually stuck around to defend the homeland instead of just blitzkrieging into my land. I don't know that I could actually have taken them out. Peace treaty? <laughs> Get fucked. Uh, we got an advisor to the king, super cool. The Bray Hordes come. There's not a location, so I guess they're just on the Holy map somewhere. Oriah. Decisive victory, medium casualties, and I hate fighting sieges, so I'm taking the auto result. Ooh, that second army loses every melee unit it has. Hey, I was planning on disbanding those anyway. It's fine. By which I mean the renowned units, not like literally all of them. I think I won't just sack. I, I need to loot an Occupy. I need to loot an Occupy. Because if I sack, I can't loot an Occupy. And I need the replenishment from it. Faction destroyed. Get fucked, Shadow Legion. How can I assist you? Now Master, here, you're just suffering from attrition. I don't think we can fix that. We can Even go into an encamp stance. Now you're not suffering attrition. And we can use global recruitment here. But I don't think we're going to. We will locally recruit some spearmen just to put something in front of the archers. And the reason we can't use global recruitment is because down I here, since, you know, there's a slight problem with this shit right now. We're going to be using global down here. I want another set of sea shields. And then for archers, I would prefer to be getting Sisters of Avalorn, but we're just not at that point in the tech tree yet. I'm going to take two bolt throwers because I'll need those to get my cities back. And then the rest of this is going to be shadow warriors and dragons. The second army up here was definitely not in a position to continue fighting, even though what's here isn't really very... Actually, by wisdom. if I weren't in encamp and I were in Ready stance none, you're, you're just barely going to be able to start recruiting. That's so Scholar frustrating. Supreme. Just because of mobility... Wait, no. This is saying I get to it this turn. If that's the truth, head. we can probably auto-resolve this. Hell yeah. Auto that. One prevails. And that prevents them from doing anything where they're going to be able to recruit a new army up here. Cool. And now we'll do the same local recruitment for Spearmen that we were doing previously. Except we've taken out the city. Notably better than what I was doing previously. Alright, that's everything on the eastern frontier handled. Now we come over to the west. You've won your fights. We can go into March and garrison the next city for the recruitment. Or not the recruitment, the replenishment. Tyrion can Hello, make it just barely to the next city thanks to all of his movement buffs. That's wonderful. There's a new army here. This might be Malekith again. We're going to just continue siege for a second here. Is this Malekith? Is he back? It is! 
Now here, Illyrial still needs to recover. We're gonna march all the way to the next city to keep our replenishment going at a good rate. We can just barely get in range to help here with Force March, so that's what we'll be doing. You don't need to be in Force March, so you won't be. And now here you can do this again, except, uh, one second. Hey, everyone, I would like to have lower casualties, and apparently we've messed this up a little bit. I think they might have stopped moving when I triggered the siege. I could have sworn I put in different commands. High Elven Archmage. Anyway, they're both definitely oh, in range sense. now. So with all of this, I should take virtually There's no casualties. 42. Do I need the loot and occupy? No, there's this no money here. There's no reason to take the penalties. Leadership and charge bonus on Tyrion, control in local province. Magic in purest form. I think Bring if I do this, Tyrion assist, because we're just like right next to the city. He does not retreat. Tyrion, Tyrion should be able to move like one step out of the city, though. And now he still doesn't look like he's helping. Yeah, no, still not in range. Another time, villain. Ever. Well, Tyrion can wait in the setting. And you're already in force march, and you're not going to be getting close enough. I can't get to the other marches. side of the setting. So hopefully I haven't done anything terrible with Malekith here. I the think everything's probably us. fine. I'm actually going to sit on this last 3,000 gold, make sure I have enough for global recruitment next turn. I guess I should repair a building, so that does seem like it's generally a good thing to do. And if there are open slots, it's hard to not justify immediately reinvesting the money like that. So, fine, we're not sitting on the money, we're ending our turn like this. God be good. You have the nerve I'm sorry, are you asking me for peace after you sail down to- Oh, get fucked. No, absolutely not. We're wiping you off the face of the map. Now, the thing I actually care about over here, what's going on with this? He is Tyrion, waiting to die. I am All right, Tyrion, come make a move. He's going to retreat Queen. from this. All right, that's going to be a 3v1 against Malekith. You ought to resolve out another Malekith stack. Don't even need to look at it. It's just dead. I'm going to take money and influence like I have been. Are we in range for the next city? No, no one is. I think... So we might actually just walk past it. Oh, I'm sorry. Who the fuck are you? I think I got a note about you a while ago. What's your name? The Ripperhorn Tribe. Yeah. I'm sure they're perfectly friendly nightmares. Let's just go into Stance Nun and kill these guys. I don't feel like they should be allowed to be in our land. Yes, declare war. Like, I don't... They're at war with us. They're just pretending they're not. I don't know why we're humoring that. Evergreen. Cool, I guess we'll finish them off over here then. Grab this one. Yeah, and that gets all the reinforcements. Them. We can auto resolve with no casualties. You're just not allowed to be in my land waiting to ambush me. Perhaps That's not happening. As soon as I get out of movement range from them, they were going to steal a settlement from me. We're not doing that shit. The Reaper. Anyway, we Stance March. Direct. We're never getting there next turn. Which is a good reason to go here, I guess. Actually, I feel like I should be staying in my territory here. Forward. Just to avoid the attrition. Of magic. I say as we take the attrition anyway. I bring Doesn't camp stance fight. dodge the attrition. Rest, weary yes. So anyone who has no Trained mobility they the need to spend tower. can just encamp and move forward a tiny bit. Or heal attrition, period. And you're too Further far back, you're gonna right. be marching forward. No, not trading units, My marching forward. No, please, they're just in the way. Certainly. All right. So that's everyone pushing forward here. Malekith down, Beastman down. We are within one turn of the no Citadel mercy. of Lead, so I imagine we need to go knock this out and take it from them. Decisive victory. I ought to resolve that. And we're going to sack and occupy. So I won't be recovering. Word save on Albion, or not on Albion, on Alistair seems very, very good. Now, having done that, I don't feel like having you conquer any more my land. You seem like you're just sitting there and waiting to die, though. And I don't want to deal with getting to you, and you're like, oh, but we have a peace treaty, you can't kill me this turn. Skulls. That shit's incredibly tedious. I think these two can go, and so can these two. Like, this one's probably worth having. And I've already got you, so that's fine. But I do think... That we probably just don't feel like we need to pay for these two anymore. 
Also, I should be getting Lothar and Sea Guards, but we can't get that locally. That's why I'm not. Fair enough. I'll take up two Spearmen locally. And then coming back down to this army, which Shake really should have had Lords in it. That should have been part of the plan. But now in local recruitment, we can get fucking dragons, which seems relevant to my interest. The Moon Dragon has way more health. Different breath attack. It's a bit slower. A bit worse leadership, but who cares about that? But it has stronger attacks. Notably stronger attacks. Considering they're both very fast, I feel like I would just go for Moon Dragons. Oh, it takes three damn turns to recruit them. I mean, the whole war thing's kind of urgent, my man. I care about you so much less if you take three... To <laughs> like, the other one's still two turns. It's not like the other one's fast. I mean, I'm still doing it. I want some dragons. I want to see how these feel. And then there's no reason to global recruit this this turn, because we're going to be here for two turns, guaranteed. Uh, what we can do, though, is we can just walk out of our territory. Like, we can just march up to here, and then locally recruit at the edge of our territory instead. You, address the Asur of all you still don't want to confederate. You haven't taken territory in forever. You're dramatically weaker than me. I have every possible agreement with you. What do you want? You don't have a military alliance with me, and we did have that with the other person. Why don't you like this idea? Just based on evaluation minus 10. It, like the fact that we're way stronger than you, you're surrounded by us, we're the same race, you love us, none of that really seems to matter. Um, I have been told, specifically, having over 150 and this number matters a lot, which should mean... What is this organized by? I've been thinking I'm missing something, but looking at this, it's just absolute nonsense. Safari's over here, I guess. It's fine. I'm going to improve relations with you. Twice. And that's plus 40, getting me over, over 50. And we're going to see next turn how much that affects our diplomacy with them. So, unsurprisingly, Alistair has a bunch of things that make the White Lions and the War Lions better. That said, I don't care. <laughs> like, that's cool. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to use those units because they just don't seem like something my faction's good at. I will take Speed of Assyrian, though, because he's kind of slow. Should be a lot better now that we're off the Awful Chariot and onto an Eagle. Someday we'll be on a Star Dragon. That sounds metal as hell. What rank are we currently? 12. We get a Sun Dragon at 16 and a Star Dragon at 20. Looks like I was going to be trying out dragons no matter what. I just didn't know it yet. All right, finally assigning all the skill points. One of my least favorite things about the game is having to give everyone I don't care about skill points. I guess I should take the Elven Court and consider like putting a bunch of nobles in an army and seeing if they do anything. I don't think so. Do nobles have good base stats? Armor 80 isn't terrible. Their melee attack is... They feel like they're not bad. I just don't know that having a stack of 20 dudes that are particularly tough is actually helpful. But this also unlocks technologies, and God knows I need more of that. All right, that's everything handled, I think. I would have preferred to be finishing the army this time, but apparently we're spending forever recruiting dragons. I'm sure that's going to be worth it. Let's see what happens between turns. So I can get the Sword of Cain now. I'm not convinced this is a good decision. Also, we finish our technology, but you can do new things, or so I'm told. I can unlock military advancements too? Sure. So, what's this about the Sword of Cain exactly? It, it takes me here. What do you want me to do? Oh, garrison a lord at the Shrine of Cain to claim it. I mean, no one's there right now. Let me just recruit a lord real quick. Hey, you're an administrator. Congratulations, let's save you. Save character, that's done. Now I can garrison here, and I can left click this. The Sword of Cain is now yours, within sleeps Widowmaker, an Aryan's blade and the god of murder's own blade. Consecrate the area by building the altar of Cain and the power will be yours to... Did it? Didn't I do that? Yeah, okay. Glorious. Uh, you now wield the Sword of Cain. Use its immense power to annihilate your enemies. The Sword of Cain gives plus 25 melee attack, magical attacks, 450 armor piercing, 20% resistance to all damage, you can no longer run away. Yeah, that seems good. It's currently thirsting. I feel like it's cursed. It is the god of murder's own sword, right? So, if you defeat whoever has the Sword of Cain, you get it. Otherwise, one of the Elven factions has to occupy this and build it to get it. 
That's not really like as elaborate a tutorial as I was hoping for. Diplomatic relations minus 10 all factions, control minus two all provinces. So I've been told that for the Dark Elves at least, this is a meme weapon that your race is just too unhappy and too volatile to even use this. I don't know if that's true for High Elves, and certainly it's not going to be true on normal, but I am interested in using this. However, not on you. I see. I don't appear to be able to unequip this. When you slide it over, nothing happens. All the other stuff's grayed out. This is what I saved before I picked this up. It also gives you the ability Vortex, which is a huge randomly moving area of effect. Strong versus multiple units, good against armor. That's cool and all. I'm gonna have to load the save though, because this random Archmage of the Heavens, I don't actually want them. <laughs> I'm sure as shit didn't want to give them the Sword of Cain. As I have a lot of influence banked, it did remind me that I should probably look at buying a bunch of Lords and saving them for future use. And Incendiary seems like absolutely nuts compared to just having a normal person. Now your weapon's on fire and it deals 75% more damage. Like, how the fuck's that okay? All right, and with this, I'll have purchased three Master, separate Administrator I Lords make. and saved them. Master, so, like, in a future I campaign, make. I just make so much additional money because I pay the upfront cost for these guys. And then, like, every couple of turns, I summon them and save, like, a thousand, five thousand dollars. <laughs> Like, it's just very obviously better to do that than to not do it. Anyway, let's load the save again. So, getting back into this, what I need to be doing is conquering land, obviously. Tyrion's pretty damn fast, so I think I can go here and then march all the way up to help somebody else next turn. But his army's also just very, very solid, so I imagine he can take this out on his own with low casualty auto-resolve. Yes. Does any of this help with attrition? No. Well, what I'm going to consider doing, then, is we do this, take that, I guess we have a commandment now, so we'll assign that to Phoenix King. And what I was thinking about doing with our $4,000 is going over to rights and turning off attrition and getting faster replenishment rate. Uh, it's still on cooldown because it's the good one and I've used it before. Fair enough. Well, in that case, everyone suffer. Why are you? Oh, you're in camp. That's why you're not making it very far. This one's properly in March and it's going to properly suffer as it runs forward. A reckoning. You get out of encamp and into a march. Do not tarry. Run forward, die, you know, me. standard things. Full speed, Asya. Crossing the desert sucks. Fucking deal with it. What's this? Dracula Spire the from the dwarves. Down. Good dwarves or bad dwarves? To be plunged into your skull. Oh, I'm an elf. Right, all dwarves are bad dwarves. Sorry, I forgot. Um, anyway. They don't hate me as much as some people do. They hate that I'm working with elves because like the only thing worse than an elf is a wood elf. Although honestly, maybe worse than both is dark elves. And they do like that I'm killing dark elves. That's why they're not furious with me. They're only at minus 50. It's like, ah, you are an elf. You do work with wood elves. But on the other hand, you've killed a lot of dark elves. That's a pretty dwarven thing to do. They also like that I killed the beastmen. That mattered less to them though. The king. Now, Alice of the White Lion's gonna start walking back and start Setting healing here on his way down. You are probably an army I don't even really want, huh? What's Alistair's army look like? Just better, right? I mean, for a definition of better. I do want this army here. Do I want more of this stuff, or do I want to global recruit? I want to global recruit, because we're not using it for the main army this time. I don't have the money to get all of them. That's a shame. I'll still take two and then pick up two more archers with the rest of my money. I'm assuming that next turn we're going to get into some fights and make the money I need to conquer shit. Over here, we're still recruiting, right? Oh, wait, you're supposed to be recruiting this turn. That's not good. So I'm supposed to be recruiting globally here. And I don't have the money to be doing it right now, which means things have gone terribly wrong. So I need another, like, 2,000 gold to make this happen. I can also just settle, right? I can just... Instead of getting... Oh, right, I'm at capacity because the dragons are still recruiting. No, I literally can't settle. Well, instead of recruiting 1244, like, nothing's cheap. Nothing's cheap. It doesn't even help. Fellow Asa, Safari, I can't help but notice I improved my stuff with you a ton. I guess it takes a while to go through. Because it's working towards 164 right now. But it's not there yet. All right, fine. Gonna be honest... I don't really give a shit about my reliability at the minute. Whichever woeful day You'll give me anything for a peace treaty. 5,000's we'll a lot. Spill your blood. I think I'm willing to just take $5,000 from them to buy the army I'm going to kill them with and then break the peace treaty immediately. I wish there was a clear thing that showed how long this will last before I have a shithead for breaking the I peace treaty. 
But yeah, thanks for the money. I needed that. I want to say they offered much less the first time around. But now that I've done that, I'm I can afford to global style. recruit these guys with no issues whatsoever. And that also means I have enough money left All to... No, not him. Mage. Oh, I don't know that I'm actually selecting from that viewpoint. Anyway, from here I can go... Four spears enough to hold the line long enough, probably. Get some archers. Unassigned skill points? I can't believe it. Again, there's so many. There's so many skill points to assign, and it's probably my least favorite thing in the game right now. Tyrion's gonna keep getting harder to hit, working down the fighting tree. I'm shocked I have money for building upgrades, but yeah, make more money. And repair this building, which I apparently have the money to do. And destroy this. You're not making horses. That's ridiculous. And that'll be everything for this turn and for this video, but I don't like starting on end turns, so let's end the turn, get through it all, and we'll pick up at the start of the turn next time. I don't imagine anything's going to happen. All of our enemies are pretty thoroughly dealt with at the minute. So I'll go ahead and do the outro now. I've been rather incoherent. I've been having a lot of fun with this game. I definitely want to turn the difficulty up in the next campaign because, I mean, this has been a steamroller. And I know that that might continue to be the case regardless, but I would like a better resistance than this. Normal is just not high enough. I'm looking forward to playing another campaign on a higher difficulty. And right now I'm leaning towards vampire counts just because they're so incredibly different from what I'm currently doing. But that's for then and not for now. Oh, first, let's handle this. I'm just going to make my populace happy in exchange for influence. I don't need any of this shit. Anyway, like I was saying, that's all for next time. For now, I'm done. I've been rather coherent. I've been having a blast with it. Hope you've been enjoying watching it as well. Thank you for doing so. Thank you to my one Patreon supporter, Jeffrey Payne. And I'll see all of you in the next one.